everyone. This is my very late Sunday rant. I know I've missed this past Sunday and last Sunday. I didn't know if anybody wanted to hear my opinions or know what I think. I really didn't think anyone really cared, but apparently some people do. Um, a very, okay, one person. Hi, Terry. How you doing? But anywho, okay. My rant is this. I was in the mall yesterday. We go to the mall every Monday and we walk the mall for exercise with a group of other people that belongs to my tops group, which is a weight loss group, taking off pounds sensibly. We walk about two miles of, you know, every Monday for our little group exercise and we do good. And I can't walk that much because I am disabled. I've got really bad ankles and it hurts to walk without my cane and a brace. But that's nor and far beside the point of this rant. The rant is, oh my God, some people are the nastiest people I've ever seen. I'm not talking about the Walmart people this time. Yay. But um, what I'm talking about is I had to go to the restroom. I am a phobic when it comes to touching a lot of stuff and handling a lot of stuff that other people has handled, especially when you're going to the bathroom and coming out of the bathroom. Okay, I always use my elbow or else I pull my sleeve down or take my t-shirt or else I take a tissue and open the door. But, ooh, my stomach growling. I'm sorry. Um, the point is that while I was in the restroom, this some um, young children were in there, was in there along with a teenager. And um, so... They got finished before I did, and the oldest girl, the teenager, was rushing the younger one out. I guess that she was about nine or eight, eight or nine or something, and she was going to wash her hands. And this little girl's like, the teenager is like, no, we ain't got time. You don't need, and she's like, no, I'm going to wash my hands. That's nasty. I'm not going to go out without washing my hands. Come on. How long does it take for you to put soap and water on your hands, wash them, and then dry them, and then leave? Why wouldn't this girl let this young child wash her hands? I am, I, I mean, I was so proud of this girl that she wanted to wash her hands. Because how many times have you been to a restaurant, you've been to the bathroom in a, in a restaurant, and you've been into a bathroom and somebody's went into the bathroom and came out without washing their hands. What's the first thing that goes through your mind? Ew, ick, gross, nasty. That they've got, they wipe their butt, they wipe their huta and chocho or cookie or taco or burrito, or whatever you want to call it, but they they had to touch the nether legions. And you got fecal matter that gets on your fingers. You you got urine. You go out. You touch the door. And if you're at a but I do not eat at buffets because of that reason. Because people go in. They use their bathroom. They come out. They grab the utensils. And it's a proven fact that... One out of 15 people will actually wash their hands after they use the bathroom. I wash my hands. I, I am a big sanitized person. I mean, I just got this like a month ago and it's almost empty. Yeah, I've, I've used 
all of this. And I carry at least two different kinds of sanitizers in my purse. I got one in the truck, a big pump like that in my truck. I got one in my car. And I am constantly squeezing stuff on my hands. And before I go shopping at Walmart, I take the sanitizer out with a paper towel and I wipe down my cart, the handles of my cart, because I don't like touching it. And before I, oh, excuse me, before, when I would drink sodas out of a soda can, I always wiped off the soda can lid with a baby wipe. Just to make sure it was clean. I ooh, I got a text. Somebody loves me. Uh, nah. It's no one important. But anyway, um, <laughs> and no, it wasn't Lady Jarhead or or Terry with the two R's. But anywho, um, it's just nasty, nasty, nasty not to wash your hands. Because you, you can get so many diseases from that. You can get E. coli. It's just, and E. coli can kill you people. E. coli is fecal matter. That comes from your booty. It's caca. Yeah. Caca. Poop. Doo-doo. The S word. So... You know, it doesn't take much to wash your hands after you use the bathroom and stuff. So, all I'm saying is, if you use it, wash it. You Wash your hands. That's just so gross. Because next time you go to that buffet, look around you and watch the people who come out of the bathroom. And if their hands are nice and shiny... That means they wash their hands. Or they're really sloppy and they peed on them on their hands. Which I don't think they would do that. I hope not. But um, look at their hands. If their hands are nice and shiny and moist, that means they wash their hands when they came out. If they're nice and dry, yeah. Just because you're a man and you're going pee, that don't mean that you, you don't have to wash your hands. You still have to touch touch it so and put it back you have to touch it to bring it out and you have to touch it to put it back so it is just nasty because not only can you not realize that you got bodily fluids on your hands you can also have um, body hair on your hands and if you have a cut or anything like that it will prevent other people from getting sick so what i'm trying to say is wash your hands it helps out so much if you do it makes life so much better and you won't people will not be so sick so i'll let you all go with that I hope you enjoyed my rant and if you would like to hear these rants once a week on sundays just let me know if you would if you want more of my rants this type yes down there down there don't you love my new little thing here i love this book this book is so awesome look hold on let me show you i made this <gasps> I made it and I gave it away. It is so, so pretty. It's got little rhinestones and wings. Oh my gosh, I made that. I made these little earrings with the skulls. I know it's hard for you to see this right now because of the color. But this has got some really pretty, pretty, pretty stuff in it. I love these earrings. This is what I'm going to be making next. Right here. So, but yeah. If, you, if you're out and about and you go to Tinkle, remember to at least 
wash your hands. Think of others because somebody might have a very low immune system and not, might not be able to fight off a bacteria as good as we can. And young kids can't, but teach your children young to wash their hands and they'll be healthy, at least a little bit healthier. So, well, everybody, peace out and toodles. Bye.